Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Fallout 2, the free action point challenge. Your discretion is advised. Now, some people might ask, well, why free action points? Why not minimum? And that is because JET exists. You see, JET actually has a debuff which decreases your action points by 2, which means minimum would, technically speaking, be 1. And anyone who's seen my uh, Fallout 1 minimum AP challenge would know how terrible free action points is at the default. It, it's just, it's just absolutely awful. Either way, uh, let's just get started because what else am I supposed to say? I mean, first off, uh, we're going to need unarmed because it, it's the only way we're going to get out of, uh, Dealing with the prologue, uh, using combat, we need melee weapons and we need throwing, so uh, those are free tag skills. Throwing is necessary because uh, we kind of need flares, which are our only ranged attack, which is, you know, kind of a problem. I mean, thankfully they are more common in this game, but um, that's not going to help much because... Uh, well, they, 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 they deal less damage. I will say that we can get Living Anatomy, which is going to be a very big benefit, but other than that, I honestly can't think of uh, much else we can really do with that. Anyway, I don't think we technically need Charisma, so we need Endurance to 10 because uh, we need all the health we can get. I mean, I think these are our basic stats. Technically speaking, uh, strength could be one lower, and that's mostly because of we're getting advanced power armor, are we? I mean, technically speaking, too, but honestly, I'm I'm going to probably keep it at seven just because of the beginning, because the big problem is that uh, because we're trying to deal with that. Uh, the main story with as much combat as possible, we are going to have to fight the guy at the end of this particular segment. I will, of course, say that we're omitting Bolt 13 because, uh, well, in our last uh, challenge, let's just say dealing with one death quad pretty much was almost impossible with the exception of being successfully uh, crippling them. And I don't feel like trying for uh, taking out multiple of them. It's just not worth it. It's just not. Anyway, I'll uh, get started then. Because honestly, reaction points. Matter of fact, we can't even use that spear because it requires four. So unarmed is our best tactic. Let's get started with this. I should also mention that we kind of need to conserve HP because, um, you know, we kind of need to be able to successfully defeat that particular boss at the end of there. Thankfully, there aren't too many ants we do need to deal with. However, uh, however, the main problem is we need to conserve our HP. Thankfully, we do have doctor and first aid to uh, be have as backup. Main reason why I don't say a healing powder is because I don't feel like uh, attempting to deal with any amount of scorpions because that's, uh, you know, kind of bad. I mean, they can poison. They can... Uh, honestly, I forget whether or not they can attack twice, but I don't feel like finding out. We can get a few uh, hundred experience points by disarming these plates. Well, that's nice. Well, I will say it's kind of time intensive. I 
As we had mentioned, viewer discretion is advised, by the way. Speaking of which, I better check that as uh, default. Okay, we will stay there. I do I should probably check that as well. Oh, let's see her. That should be fine then. And we do have over thirty HP, so should be fine for a while. That said, hopefully by the time we get done uh, disarming these ones, one of the ants will have moved uh, down a hallway and hopefully not be a factor. I didn't even see that one. And it just appeared when it uh, when it came over. And see that one either. used to it. Oh no, um, well, we're going to reload that because I'm not going to deal with any scorpions, they're just not worth dealing with. If we get poisoned, they have absolutely no idea what we're going to do about that. Beating a scorpion as if it decides to run head first into a bunch of uh, untriggered points. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything in the hallway. hundred experience.
spray anything between in the walls. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, they're all over there. Well, that makes this easy. Unfortunately, we do need to actually uh, use this particular uh, explosive normally, though we can't use combat. Let's see if we do it. So I'm going to that for a minute and run away and. Uh, And as we was expecting it to blow up because of a premature handling. Regardless, uh, I should recap the rules. We have free action points. We can't actually keep companions. I will say that we will be picking them up specifically for the experience and not this second one though and the first one I didn't actually do that because uh, there the amount of experience I gave really wasn't uh, anything considerable but in this one I probably will just for the experience I need that one to turn and uh, I'd rather avoid combat. I mean, I know I can take them out. I just don't want to avoid combat because I'm trying to conserve HP for the uh, guy that we got to actually fight up here. Thankfully, we do actually have first aid and doctor to fall back on, but... But I'd rather not need to do that. Okay, there we go. Now I will say we will be uh, using Doctor and First Aid on ourselves just to I uh, get our HP back up. There we go. Because we need all the health we can get because uh, this guy, he can attack up to three times. He can deal five damage and attack. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we are going to actually stand back here and talk to him. That way, uh, he wastes his turn just moving up so he can hit us. Which is, you know, kind of useful. Keep in mind that you can deal up to five. And keep in mind that uh, everything I just said is his base attack. This isn't even including critical hits. And yes, I know I can take the key and if I had speech I could talk to him, but the point of this one is that this particular challenge is specifically to take as much uh, the main story as possible while only using combat. Of course, we're omitting Vault 13 because, uh, you know, fighting Death Claws is kind of, sort of, not a good idea in any capacity. I mean, I'm not even going to bother arguing the point. Any time we run into effectively any type of random encounter that involves uh, any type of uh, 
creature that can make way, we're just going to reload immediately because there is absolutely no way we're dealing with up to six of them. It's just... Because we got to keep in mind that they can hit up to three times a hit for some of the different classes. And if literally anything actually does that... Um, And uh, if anything knocks us down, we lose our turn. And uh, in some cases, up to six enemies can uh, surround you. So that's potentially 18 attacks. And all it takes is one of them to knock you down and you lose your entire turn. Which is just so absurdly problematic, it's not even worth attempting. By added agility, I'd actually be heading and running him, but no, I can't do that. I'm just gonna fly out and say that if I uh, get at five or below, I'm just gonna reload because all it takes is one hit to uh, actually take us down at that point. And once we happen to get a very good luck, I I don't even think we've actually gotten any critical hits, actually. Which is problematic. I mean, we got 9 luck, and that's a 9% chance. Unfortunately, we can't actually aim for our attack either. Outside of using flares, so uh, we're just stuck throwing punches until we actually successfully beat them. Honestly, I don't even know if I should start just reloading if I just start missing it. I kind of need to hit all the time for it to work. I mean, if I could get at least one good crack, oh, we might be able to win. Would help if I did more than one damage. If I could knock him down, that'd be uh, helpful. having terrible luck with uh, the hits I'm getting.
have to be hitting something. If I miss more than once, then that's a problem. I mean, it, it really doesn't help much that he can potentially knock us down because he has free hit. See, that's what I need. Fours and fives. start from back there it's so I can get the first hit in I could use hit and run tactics, but oh no, that'd be easy. We can't have that. See, that, that's the type of work we need. Three methods in a row. That are really wall heads. Yay, I actually won. I, I, that, that was absolutely terrible. Why well, that said, the setting of uh, what we have to deal with. I don't like that error message. Okay, well, let's talk to this lady. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, I will not. Yeah, right, sure. Uh, let's see here, we need to repair this. And uh, 200 more experience. Well, Let's see what we can do. Uh, I know, let's see here. We're obviously not going to be able to take out those plants. I mean, technically speaking, we probably could, but it would take such a huge amount of luck because we can't run away from them and I'm pretty sure they can attack twice if we're in melee range so that's probably not going to happen. Chosen once again, please reveal to cloud it up. Okay, we are going to weave. I will say I did not actually grab my spear but that's fine. Because, uh, let's see here, I believe we can actually get a knife in, uh, one of these areas somewhere. Regardless, we do actually need to, uh, 
We do need some materials for uh, buying things in the next town. I mean, thankfully we have a knife now. I mean, not that that's going to be overly helpful. Thankfully we can also uh, speak and actually get some experience, some uh, melee and unarmed experience, or rather, uh, Training. Actually, I think my unarmed was too high to actually benefit from that. And I would get a sharpened spear if uh, it was actually useful. I mean, uh, it's only technically good for uh, selling because they can't actually use it. Either way, I honestly don't have uh, much else I can think of to get. So I guess we're going to be leaving. Because I really don't have any other uh, reason to stay here. I mean, yes, I could try saving smoke, but the problem with that is that if any of the geckos start to fight, uh, we're kind of stuck there. And I really don't think we can actually take anything out. Anyway, we're going to go to Quamath. And hopefully there are flares for sale. I know for a fact we can uh, actually get some flares somewhere here. 114. Oh dear, this is going to be problematic. Is Let's see here. We need uh, money and we need things to trade with. So there's a stem pack and 45 coins. Some gecko pelt. There is a golden gecko pelt in this one. We just need to break the door down. Okay, we can at least get a few flares after we're uh, done searching the area because I know there's a throwing knife in this particular. Uh, I think uh, actually that building. And uh, what's here? We can actually sell that uh, guns and bullets magazines because uh, we can't actually use any firearms. So, uh, that's actually pretty much useless to us. Now, uh, is there, was it this one or that one? Yeah, it was that one. And we actually get more flares, which is nice. For those of you who aren't aware, flares are our uh, only ranged attack for this particular challenge. Which is, I know is absolutely terrible. I mean, make no mistake, flares do have a lot of potential, but uh, not for this particular run. Who knows, I'm probably going to be doing a uh, flare only run at some point. Because they do actually have a large amount of potential, but uh, this is definitely not uh, the uh, run for that. There. We need money so we can pay off the uh, debt for uh, for Solik, which yes, we will be paying off the debt uh, for Solik for the experience, but we'll immediately leave him if he does uh, join our party. But either way, uh, there's really not much else I can really think of to get other than uh, 
Let's invex house. Yeah, because the pipe rifle I know is 200 experience, so uh, there's that. I don't even know how much it'll sell for actually. And uh, we don't actually need the 10 millimeter because, uh, you know, we kind of can't use it. So let's uh, just go in and uh, talk to this guy over here to get some more training in. way I would have increased my uh, skills earlier before that but I actually haven't leveled up yet. Now let's see here we have 422 that's more than enough for uh, paying off Solix's debt. Oh, what's there? Do you have flares? No. Oh, well, you do have money. We do need to effectively stay over in this general way. Uh, Location for quite some time until we get a good stockpile of flares. Either way, let's talk to Soic or this one. Now, let's see here. Okay, 500 actually doesn't uh, join him. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Now uh, we get 500 experience. And what's here? I better increase my throwing because it's where we are only ranged attack and uh, melee weapons. Okay, we uh, helped Solwick out, and uh, that's here. We have two throwing knives, golden gecko pelt. I know where we can get even more uh, pelts, which is going to be very important because we kind of need to buy more flares. We just need to break another door. And we can get more. Mm 
And let's see here. Is there anything uh, we can actually use there? I mean, I know there's rubber boots, there's 10 millimeter ammunition. Hmm. Honestly, we can't think of much else. Oh, let's see here. We can't help with the Bob because that involves dealing with golden geckos, which we clearly we can't deal with. So we're going to be going to the den. I can't even use combat because they need the door open. Okay, he didn't actually take anything. That's fine. Hopefully we get uh, flares uh, somewhere here. No, but uh, we can get one jet. Come to think of it, I should probably uh, highlight why. Uh, why, why it would be one, though. I guess I better get to one jet and save before highlighting why. Oh, well, that'd be easier, actually. Although I actually kind of need a dose of jet specifically to make the cure. Or do I? If we're going to go to the remote city to do it and not, not speak to Myron, we will need to. Actually, my uh, science probably isn't going to be high enough, so probably need to go to Vault City for that anyway. Either way. Either way, we do get another magazine in here, as well as flares. Now, let's see here. If I remember correctly, we can actually get more experience by not talking to them. And instead of actually uh, getting into this area by yourselves. Because if you don't know about Metzinger, I think it gives you 200 more experience. Okay, there we go, 700 experience, and we should get an additional 500 for our walking in this one. Okay, there we go. And that's 1,200 right there. Anyway, I may as well look for the book. Oh, let's begin. Wait, there it is. There's a lot of experience we can get in the den. Anyway, uh... We need to speak to Carl. Eh, just ask him what the story is. Then we can speak to this lady and uh, talk about her cat. Her 
another 200 experience, we can get uh, Smitty's meal and give it to him for another, I think, 150. <clears throat> Now well, let's see here, what else is there? I will need to go back to Aquamath to get more flares. Another level, and I... Unfortunately, you can't get quick pockets. I mean, it's not there anyway, actually. So I guess we can't take it either way. Anyway, uh, let's see your awareness. Let's just uh, pause and think about what exactly we need. Uh, comprehension. Very helpful. That's only good for waiting. Okay, Stonewall might be the way to go. And now let, let's just pause and think about this. Stone, Stonewall would probably be the way to go, but I don't know if uh, I'd be breaking the rules or not because I think it was quick recovery that actually decreases the amount of vacuum points it uh, makes it go down because uh, my, the, the main thing about this run is I was trying to make it so that uh, Action points would be the only thing that would be considered, so uh, being less likely doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's going to decrease the amount that we're going to actually uh, be able to get. Oh boy, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're just going to ignore Stonewall, even though it's probably helpful. I'm just going to ignore it for this particular challenge and it's like toughness. Because, uh, you know, we kind of need to be there and defend and uh, we can't really take any damage. Though that's kind of a problem. Honestly, I don't think I actually got Stonewall in the uh, first playthrough either. Anyway, let's see if this guy has anything. Not really much of anything, that's fine. Honestly, I don't even think I need the crowbar thing as I'm going to be getting the uh, power armor pretty early anyway. Anyway, let's see here. We need to speak to uh, Rebecca at Becky's. Okay, and we get a quest. The only reason why I'm doing this now is specifically to get HP just so I don't have to reload constantly because uh, once we get to the Enclave area they're just going to effectively instantly kill us. Of course none of that's going to help much because we gotta keep in mind that uh, typically they're going to get uh, two hits uh, regardless most of the time, especially the things with uh, gas pistols and uh, pulse pistols. And then... Um, 
And we can actually give this to Rebecca. I'm only really concerned if they actually take something of value because they kinda need that uh, canteen. Kinda think of it, no I don't, I just need the uh, vault suit. Okay, that's 200. Any more? Okay, and that's 500 experience right there. And we can actually uh, pay a thing 5-5. Five, five. And get another uh, 150 experience. 350. Okay, better than 5. Then we can go back to Aura. And uh, talk about what exactly we saw. Okay, we need about a twenty-one fifty. I don't think this guy actually sells spoilers either. May as well check while I'm here. Oh, it's the healing powder. Nine knives. Why well, he has why knives? Okay, two hundred more experience. I have no idea how long this video is currently. Regardless, we do need to talk to Aura. to uh, this guy over here. We just need to talk to him and tell what uh, that something about a party. Hey boy, we don't need to save old and like normal. And there are only uh, three enemies we actually have to deal with. And uh, the the time that uh, we're actually done dealing with that, the ghost should be there, and we'll be able to hopefully get another level up, and then I'll end this episode. Now, how helpful am I going to be? Probably not very much. Matter of fact, I really don't think I should be fighting anything at all whatsoever just because they really can't take any damage. I, I mean, even if I was... Honestly, I kind of forgot how many there were. I always thought there were... Uh, why there were less enemies than that. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the thing's bugged, so all we had to do was take out this guy. I 
and you gotta make sure we don't enter the building. And we have been playing the, uh, the restoration project more recently, so I'm just used to these ones uh, not being broken. Regardless, uh, because of it being night time, we can actually uh, deal with the ghost. And first things first, let's get a shovel. I don't think there's anything on this shelf. Oh, another shovel. Okay, we had to go back to this diner. Let's go back to the haunted house. And before I forget, let's get a uh, Vic out of here. On his way, I uh, don't think he actually... Actually, I don't think... Um, he actually gives you any experience for rescuing him. We do get 200 experience. That's not too bad. Regardless, all we need is uh, 50 money to actually buy this rocket. Hopefully we get another experience, another level. Wow, uh, what's here? We just need about less than 1,500. I know that we get about 700 for returning this rocket. There we need we get about 700 for doing this and reburying the uh, body. Speaking of which, I think is the one that is just an one's wool. Oh, 
Okay, not too bad. And all we need is 15 more experience. Oh, well, let's see here. What can we do real quick for that? way I can't really think much. Either way, I guess I'll end this episode by going back to Quam F and hopefully getting more flares because they're literally our only ranged attack. Should be fine with those trappers there. All we really need is to take down one thing. Boy, it seems to be distracted. Okay, we got a level up because of an outdoorsman check. Well, now I can't complain about that. Either way, we have 63 HP and we'll just go around getting some flares. Oh boy, they, uh, yep, there they are. Alright, well, we're level 4 with 63 HP, and I think that's a good place to leave it off at. Oh boy, this thing doesn't glitch. I really don't, I don't like that save error message. I guess I'll just check this real quick. If there are flares, it'd be ideal, and if not, we can actually just uh, get money. Okay, well, I guess that'll be it. <clears throat> I guess that'll be it for this particular episode. I guess we can potentially help Tor in the next one. Either way, uh, I think we got enough HP for that. 
I win this episode here. That being said, I hope everybody enjoyed this episode. So, everybody have a good day.